All right, we have our closing speaker. It's Alice Brown. She's a fan favorite. Um, do not disappoint tonight, Alice. Do not sass me. <sighs> Welcome. She's going to talk about boats. Good evening, everyone. I like to start with surveys. So I'm going to ask you to raise your hand if you like fairies. Yeah, fairies. I want, no, 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 keep them up, keep them up. Put your hand, keep your hands up if you have ridden any ferry anywhere in the world in the last year. Keep them up. Keep them up if you've ridden a ferry in Boston Harbor in the last six months. Keep your hand up if you commute by boat on a regular basis. Four, three, no, that's a lie, Josh Ostroff. I'm gonna be three. I know Nathan's here somewhere. Um, that, <laughs> that gap between the people's love of fairies and their appeal as a way to travel, the fact that you can have a drink in your hand and the wind in your hair and you're riding across the water, and the current awareness and ridership of Boston ferries is something I am trying to close. In order to close that gap, I'm working at Boston Harbor now with these partners, so MassDOT and MassPort are two of our biggest funders, but we're also working with the National Park Service, the Seaport Economic Council, the Convention Center Authority, um, as well as two awesome foundations, including the Barr Foundation, and two developers who are really committed to this work. Today in Boston Harbor, there are four MBT, three MBTA ferry routes. They run 76 trips a week, I'm sorry, a day. These are bad numbers. 76 trips a day, <laughs> and they have about 1.5 million passenger trips per year. So it's nothing compared to the full MBTA, but it's pretty incredible in and of itself. In the summer, there are four additional commuter ferry routes operated in partnership with individual municipalities. There are two private operators that provide ferry service to Provincetown and ferry access to eight of Boston's Harbor Islands. In the summer of 2017, you could commute by ferry from, to Boston from Salem, Lynn, Winthrop, Charlestown, Quincy, Hingham, and Hull. Depending on your origin, the trip would take anywhere from 10 to 65 minutes and would cost between $3.25 and $9.25. But you all raised your hand, didn't raise your hands. You don't commute from those places. So you should visit. You can take a ferry and walk to see the Peabody Essex Museum in Salem, which has an amazing Chinese house inside. You can take, the Salem, take a ferry to Lynn and see the Beyond the Walls mural exhibition, which is incredible. You can go to Charlestown and see the Bunker Hill Monument. Obviously, there are many ways to get to Charlestown. Um, and you can also go to Marina Bay, where you can visit Squantum Point Park or um, eat at one of the fine restaurants of Marina Bay. And if you have a bicycle, you can take the boat and visit these other wonderful places. The Deer Island Water Treatment Center is surrounded by paths and is also part of the Harbor Island State Parks, National and State Parks. You can visit the infamous Neponset River Greenway. <laughs> You can go to World's End, which is a uh, trustees of reservation park and also part of the islands, um, even though it's on a peninsula. And you can go to Fort Revere and Nantasket Beach. And I have dragged people to each and every one of these locations by boat this summer. You can visit eight of the Harbor Islands by ferry. And if you go there, you will find beaches, campsites, historic military installations that are surprisingly OK with you climbing on, even though they're crumbling. Delicious blackberries if you visit in August, um, an incredibly historic lighthouse, and a ropes course on Thompson Island. We think that ferries should serve even more people and do even more for the city of Boston and the surrounding area, and that's why we're working on two studies. The first of those is a comprehensive business plan. It will result in one to three new routes that can be implemented in the next one to five years and a strategy for the national parks to improve service to the islands there. Um, the RFP will be issued in the spring or sometime in the summer and start with service in 2019. I'm used to having slides here. It's okay. Two minutes, I'm at two, great. Um, to date, we've studied existing conditions. You can see them on our website. 
We've got a national best practices report that we're working on, and we've developed site profiles for 30 different docks around the harbor to understand what their potential will be to provide service in the future. Great. Um, and we'll be selecting 12 sites that we'll be modeling to look at routes. But because I'm working on it, public engagement matters a lot to me. And so we've conducted three stakeholder workshops. We held those in July and heard from about 100 people who are passionate about ferries. Um, we did a stated preference survey that's going to help us build a more rigorous transportation model. We got 3,689 responses. Our, cons our consultants are not used to having this kind of statistical robustness, even though they work in much larger areas. They were overwhelmed by Boston's enthusiasm. And we had an open house in November where about 150 people came and reviewed all of our draft reports so far and give us a lot of incredible feedback. So like I said, moving forward, we're going to take these 12 sites, we're going to look at routes in between them, say which three have the highest ridership potential, and then take it from there. Again, eventually developing these great new routes. And um, for the Harbor Islands, we're looking at up to three new gateway sites. In the interest of time, I'm going to say that we want a si system with many more ferries. We care utmost about implementation. We want to make sure that these are eventually implemented. And to do that, we need your help. You don't necessarily need to be the person who's figuring out the route modeling for us. What we want your help with is designing complete streets and communities and path connections so people can walk and bike to ferries. We want you to help with the integration of schedules and fares with local buses. We want you to make sure that wayfinding and placemaking around ferry terminals works for you and other passengers. We're looking for diverse sources of funding. And we want to make sure that you ride the fairies because that's how you tell them you love them and it will make your trip happier every time. Thank you.